Hi hey everyone, so this is a quick video on how the IBS intelligent battery sensor works on Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram vehicles starting in 2011 to current. Some of the reasons that we have the IBS sensor on Chrysler Dodge Jeep Rams is because um, glass map battery technology requires a closer control of uh, battery charge rates how much electricity goes into the battery in essence and then we also want to have fast recharge rates after a stop start event at a stoplight so when you come to a stop and the engine shuts down we need to charge that battery up pretty quickly and without the intelligent battery sensor that would be more difficult so think of your ibs as a, a dvom so a fluke meter that you use every day it's got a resistor material in that copper looking square where that cable and stud is located next to the terminal on this sensor that is basically keeping the resistance and then you know the voltage use ohm's law and you can figure out current so that's how it determines the current exiting the battery and going into the battery So now we're going to look at how this uh, IBS sensor communicates. First of all, our vehicles use the LIN bus to communicate between the IBS and the body control module. Now, for the longest time, they called this the master and the slave. So the IBS was considered a slave module and the BCM was a master. But due to obvious reasons, they're switching over to different terminology. I forget what they even call it now maybe dominant and non-dominant, but in this case, we're gonna call it the peasant and the king, just so we don't piss anybody off. And um, we're gonna talk about what this signal looks like here. It's a digital signal. You're gonna see battery voltage uh, with you turn the ignition on. And then if you see communication happening on a LIN bus circuit, any LIN bus circuit, you're gonna see maybe eight to 12 volts, somewhere in there, depending on how much communication is going on and how many modules are on that LIN bus. And you can have up to 16 modules on a LIN bus system. And I want to say that most of our vehicles are just going to have the IBS going directly to the BCM. But internally, the BCM might share that in a parallel splice. Thank you for watching.